Several new details tonight on the fatal officer-involved shooting in Raleigh. Within the past two hours, officers released the names of those officers involved as well as the radio traffic from today's incident. Amy Cutler has the latest. Donald Ross Drive became a crime scene Monday. Police now saying what started as a call for trespassing quickly escalated into a chase and then a shooting. It happened around 11.30 this morning. Police confirming an officer was shot and that another man was killed. We've got shots fired, shots fired, send multiple units. And then seconds later... Well, I got an officer injured. He's hitting the leg. Conscious of breathing, we got the uh, suspect covered. Still with his hand on the handgun. Police say two officers were involved, B.S. Bosile and B.F. Burleson. Police say Burleson was shot in the leg. Police identifying the man killed as 24-year-old Jacqueline Terry. I heard five shots. And this is probably about 300 feet away from me. Ronnie Short works at Wake Assisted Living. He says he was in the backyard at the time of the shooting. I can see at least three cops with their guns pointed, and they were shouting, um, put, your, uh, put, that, put your weapon down. They shouted that about three or four times. You can see from a whole lot more point, here. Short tells me he couldn't the see the man. Those officers the were pointing their what guns happened at with that? Instead, he ran into the building to take cover. And still tonight, many questions remain. Police say Terry was the one trespassing but they haven't told us exactly what led up to the shooting or who fired first. For several hours this evening, police had a house at the intersection of Warren and Ralph Drive surrounded. In Raleigh, Amy Cutler, CBS North Carolina. And neighbors tell Amy the man who died lived at that home with his aunt. They say his girlfriend lived on Donald Ross.